Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a first impressions one brand curly hair routine for you guys. I asked you guys on Twitter if you would like to see videos like this and you guys were all in favor. So here is my first video for you guys. I was lucky enough to be sent a few products from the Diva Curl line and I've been using them for years so I was really excited to try some new products. So enough talking, let's jump right into this tutorial. First, I'm going to start off with the Diva Curl No Poo Shampoo. This stuff did not strip my hair at all, made my hair feel very hydrated and clean at the same time. I was really impressed with this. I've never tried anything like this before, so I was really excited to try this out and was really impressed with the results. Next, I used the Diva Curl One Conditioner. This stuff has great slip. You don't need to use a lot of it. You can just use a little and it will get all throughout your hair. Made my hair feel very soft and hydrated and I was very impressed with this. And it smells absolutely amazing. My shower smelled like that stuff for hours. And here is my hair up in a turby twist. I'm just going to take that down. If you guys know of a larger turby twist, let me know because this is getting very small for the amount of hair that I have. But here is how my hair looks freshly out of the shower using the no poo and the one conditioner. I was really impressed with how hydrated and shiny my hair looked. Now on to styling. I'm going to start off by using the Diva Curl Styling Cream. I'm going to use three pumps of this in my hand and I'm just going to work that from root to tip. I usually get the frizziest around the halo portion of my hair so that's why I start at the roots. But I'm also going to take an additional pump and work that strictly on the roots of my hair because they need the most hydration. And then I'm going to do the same steps on the other side, just working that from root to tip and focusing on the ends. Now I'm going to take the Diva Curl Super Cream. This is the Coconut Curling Style Cream. And I'm just going to do the exact same process. Start from root to tip and take an additional pump and focus that strictly on the ends of my hair. All of the Diva Curl products smell so good. You will win me over if the product smells good. And this stuff smells amazing. And it has great slip. It glides through my hair like a dream. And now I'm going to be moving on to my Diva Curl Archangel hair gel. As you can see, that big hair ball. Please ignore that. But if you guys are curly girls, you understand the struggle. Hair is everywhere. I'm just going to be massaging the hair gel all throughout my hair. Any frizzy pieces, I'm going to finger coil and then I'm going to focus that on the ends of my hair as well. But I just want to make sure I fully work this hair gel all the way through my hair because it is very hot and humid here today. If I want to make sure my hair is going to stay a decent size throughout the day, then I need to make sure every strand is fully saturated with that hair gel. And I'm just going to be repeating the process on the other side. I love this stuff. I've been using this hair gel for years. It is just so amazing for the summer. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should. And now that my hair is mostly saturated, I'm going to check the back of my hair. And as you can see, the back of my hair is pretty dry, so I always make sure to give it some extra TLC and add some additional products there. And now we wait. And here is my hair after about an hour and a half of dry time. My hair is about 75 to 80% dry and I was really impressed with the results. The only thing that I can say is that my hair was a little frizzier than I liked it. And I don't know if that was just because it was a humid day or if it was because of something that I did when applying the product. But I did try this routine again on fully wet hair. So right after I got out of the shower, my hair was still sopping wet and I liked the results a little bit more. My hair was a little more clumped together instead of so defined and I do like my hair to be more clumped than fully defined. Sometimes I'm in a defined mood and this look is perfect but usually I like my hair to be more clumped and defined but other than that, I was really impressed with the brand. I didn't have to use as much product 
as I thought I was going to have to use, which is nice because the price point on these products is a little more high end. So the fact that you don't have to use as much to achieve a great look, make sure that you're going to get the most out of your money, which I think is great. And this did last all day and my hair looked great even in the morning after. So let me know how you guys liked this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and let me know down in the comment section what one brand curly hair tutorials you would like to see on my channel next. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for new videos every week and I will see you guys in my next video. And if you guys are curious as to all of the products that I talked about in this video, they will be all listed down in the description box for you guys if you guys are interested in purchasing these products. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.